I S U P K. The day that this is referred to right here is the curses that we've been talking about. The curses shall be upon you for a sign. What is a sign used for? It's to identify something, someone, or some place. We look right down here, that sign say Cass and Michigan. That let us know where we are. That sign uh, 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 right there says Comerica Bay, that let us know what that building is. The curses that are upon you are a sign to let you know that you are Israelites. From the top, verse 46, what shall these signs do? Read. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. This is the Bible. This is not my opinion. The curses that are on you are on you for a sign. Read. And for a wonder. And for a wonder because all of creation know that the whole earth was made for your sake, black man, black woman. The whole of everything the Most High was done, he did it for your sake, that you might rule. But look at you, you the lowest person on the face of the earth, running around uh, uh, playing uh, step and fetching to your slave masters, to your oppressors. Read. Upon thy sea and upon your sea. Guess what, black man, black woman? That means your son, your granddaughter, your great grandson, your great 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 grandson is going to suffer the same curses you suffer. And those curses are not, watch this, they are not meant to destroy you, but to bring you back to the Most High, to let you know who you are. You are not some goddamn slave. You are the apple of the Most High's eye. Read. Because thou servest not. Because. When you hear the word because, what's that telling you why? Why are the curses coming from you? Because. That's telling you this is why we are cursed. Read. Thou servest not the Lord thy God. You serve not the Lord thy God. You know you served Calvin Klein back in the day, spending all your money on those jeans. You serve guests, you, you, you serve uh, what? Lamborghinis, you serve anything the white man dangled in front of you to be a status symbol. You serve baubles. Our, our Native American brother sold out for trinkets. And guess what? That's all a $250 pair of Nikes are. It's a goddamn trinket. And in, in, in six months, they ain't gonna be worth nothing. That's all a fancy car is. It's a trinket. It's all just trinkets. They bobble. And we give all this, we give up our position so uh, to observe the most high for what? Trinkets. To be recognized by, by some heathen in his culture. Read. And with gladness of heart. See, we serve and imitated other cultures, but we would not serve the most high, our God. Who we serve? We serve the nigger God. Our God is the nappy-headed, nappy-beard God. Our God is the nappy-headed, nappy-beard God. Because God has a body. God has a shape. Yahweh our King has a body. 
It has a shape. And guess what? I look just like them. I look just like them. My beard is nappy as lamb's wool, and it's all. We're going to go to Revelations, and I'm going to prove what I'm saying from the Bible. Get me Revelations 1, chapter 13. If I say the, the most high look like me, if I say Yahawashah, that's Jesus Christ look like me, he's not some blue-eyed, straight-haired devil, then I'm telling the truth. How can I prove I'm telling the truth? Line upon line, precept upon precept. That's how we learn. That's in the Bible. That's how we teach the Bible. Revelation 1 and 9. Read. In the book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 13. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man. The Son of Man is Jesus. Read. Clothed with the garment. Clothed. That means he has a what? A body. Read. Down to the foot. Down to the foot. Now, what he's talking about is what he's wearing. He's wearing clothes, a garment. See that brother right there? That's a garment. That's a holy garment. And it's going where? Down to his foot. Read. And a girt about the pap. Girt about the paps. That's his midsection. You see that black band around that brother's midsection? Read. With the golden girdle. With a golden girdle. This brother is black, but your house size is golden. Read. His head. Oh, hold, let me back up. That's normally a war belt. That's where you put your sword and, and your knife and your ammunition. That's normally a war belt that, around around his waist. Read. His head and his hair. His what? His head and his hair. His head and his hair. Read. Were white. The hair on his head and the hair on his face was what? White, white, like wool, like wool. What color is this right here? I said, yeah, how should I white, look white, like who? Wool. This is white, and what's the texture right here? Wool. Wool, it's nappy as hell, right? Who, who else in the earth got woolly hair? Like this. The beginning of the world black, came. Black folk. The beginning black, of the world uh, came. The so-called right African American, the black man. This brother right here, this brother here, all these brothers, what we got? Hair that's what? Like wool. Just like Yahawashah, Jesus, Revelation 1 and 13. Read. As white. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his eyes were as a flame of fire, meaning it was red. Why? Because Yahawashah drank wine. You know, that's the first miracle uh, uh, recorded in the Bible. Then he changed wine, uh, uh, water into wine. So he liked that. My point there is that this is what the Holocaust people look like. They look like him. Get me that uh, scripture that say he shall save his people. He shall Matthew 15 and what? Call or come. This is going to be my last scripture. I'm going to say Matthew 15 and what? 24. In the book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 24. Then came, then came, she uh, and worship him, saying, Lord, help me. Come, read, read. Shalaki, we got to go, because we don't want to mess up this electrical equipment. Shalom, Israel, remember, we here, we are Israelite school of universal practical knowledge under commanding general honor, bringing forth this truth since 1969. Shalom, Israel.